Hello everyone, this is Frank from the St. John Clark Pain Treatment Center. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about like your workplace posture, um, go over some ergonomical changes that you can make, and how this could be affecting um, you know, your symptoms, and it could be prolonging your treatment results. So the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is about ergonomics, and ergonomics is actually the study of how to rearrange things to make things better and more harmonious in your workspace, or in your daily routine like your car, uh, things at your home or office. Um, the first thing I'd like to, to show you is many people have their computer screen kind of off uh, to the side of their keyboard in the front. What this does, this creates a condition where the person constantly has to rotate and constantly look over to the left or to the right to whichever side that they may have the computer screen on. What this does, this can create a strain on the neck and all the muscles of the neck. The person may also be rotated to that side creating tension in their chest, tension in their low back, and things of that nature. Ideally, what we'd like to have is we'd like to have the person sitting erect in their chair with their computer keyboard looking straight ahead. Um, with that, um, we also want to have the person kind of sitting erect, not slouching back in their chair, leaning full, like leaning out this way. Um, some chairs, like our chair, actually does raise up and raise down, and that can be adjusted to like the desktop height. But what we what we want to instill in our patients is that the things that you do at work can contribute to your issue, or can kind of like almost like relapse your condition. Like, say you saw a therapist on Friday and you're feeling great through the weekend, and then you went back to the office on Monday and you started redoing the same kind of patterning. Um, that may be a sign that what you're doing at work could be affecting your health. Um, the next thing I'd like to kind of show you is you, you see so many people these days on their cell phone. Constantly they're using their thumbs, they're looking down at their cell phone, they're creating tension in their neck, could be affecting their back, they're rolling their shoulders in, now they're all kind of hunched over. Um, you're going to see this progressively more as more and more people are using this kind of technology, but with this, you still want to maintain correct posture. You can still use your cell phone, you know, use your thumbs, but you want to make sure that you're sitting upright and vertical. You don't want to be leaning over, slouching back in your chair, um, things of that nature. Because um, eventually you're going to have a basically a forward head, you're going to have some tight neck muscles, and uh, that's not what we want for you. We want to get you healthier, faster, and uh, you know, get back to what you're doing in, a, in an appropriate amount of time. So there is a proper way to sit in your chair. Um, you want to kind of maintain an erect position where you're not leaning back into the chair. You want to have like your legs kind of at a 90 and your knees at a 90. You want your arms kind of level with, with the, uh, the, the top of the desk. One thing that you don't want to catch yourself doing is kind of slouching back in your chair with your arms kind of out like this. This is just going to cause a myriad of problems for you, some of which you already may be experiencing. So. Being cognizant of how you actually are positioned at work or how, what you're doing at your home or how you're sitting on the couch can actually help improve your condition. So you want to make sure that you are kind of sitting erect like this. Um, some people make cushions if you have a hard time sitting like that and you can make lumbar support cushions. Other companies make things for your neck. But being aware of how you're sitting, it's going to help with like half, can help with like half the so problem. This chair, although right now my back is pretty supported, it's too high. You can see that by the angle of, of my legs here. Um, what I want to do is I want to correct this by dropping my chair down a little bit. So I can just do, simply do that by something like that. Now, right now this, this feels pretty good. I might actually just be a little bit too low. So we'll kind of adjust the chair there. My arms feel really good and secure here. This feels pretty good. Um, depending on where my desk space is or the height of the desk, I might actually raise these up or down. but that. Um, will be handled at that time. Um, now if you're short and you find yourself with a desk that's a little bit higher and you have to actually raise yourself up to that position, you may need to put something under your feet to kind of balance out like your, your, your hips and put your knees in the correct position. So that's just a little a tidbit information. I myself am a little bit short and I sometimes do sit at a higher desk so I have to adjust accordingly. So maintaining you know, your upright position your chair is adjusted adequately to the height of your desk. Uh, some people make uh, use of a desk where they stand. Some people rotate standing sitting. But by doing that, you're going to help start addressing the problem. 
So remember, if you are going to actually adjust your workspace, there are some few things that you want to make sure that you do. That is, adjust your chair to the right height. Uh, make sure that your chair doesn't all the way go like it's not slouching you back. You also want to make sure that your keyboard is in front of your desk. It's okay to move and stuff, but you want to be typing kind of straight ahead. Also, make sure that your mouse is over here too. Obviously, that would not be a good position to reach back here with your mouse looking straight ahead. And if you are going to use your phone and you do text a lot, you know, you may use this for business, make sure that you're not looking down like this. Make sure that you are holding your phone out in front of you and you're maintaining, you know, kind of level contact with the phone, not like in a downward sponge position. So if you know someone that could benefit from us kind of helping you rearrange your space or get you out of pain because you think that that is what causes your pain, uh, please don't hesitate to give us a call at the St. John Clark Pain Treatment Center here in uh, beautiful Clearwater, Florida.